Hey Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and welcome to your daily love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Make sure you're checking all your signs if this message doesn't fit. And as always, just take what does, leave what don't, and don't try to force it. All right, water signs, let's see what you got going on in love today. Let's water signs focus need to be on today. Thank you. Overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything. So it may feel like there's something blocking your way to success, blocking um, what it is that you want to achieve. We'll see what the... It's been so long since I've used these cards. Maybe if I can find it. All right, guys. It says, there may be a blockage in your life or one ahead. However, you absolutely have all the inner resources you need not to just overcome the difficulty, but to thrive as a result. No matter what the obstacle is, you are amassing your inner strength to step beyond it. If there is a dream that you desire that has eluded you, know that you have all the inner skills to move beyond any blockages preventing you from achieving this goal. Use any obstacle as a stepping stone to great achievements and success in your life. All right, so you may be going through some difficult things at the moment. Let's see what we have going on in love today. Spirit angels, but let's just do our water signs need to hear in love. All right, your first card out is the Four of Cups. So, um, your situation that you and your person are dealing with is there's like a hesitancy um, for like seeking out spiritual um, resolution. There could be some like a despondent or forlorn feeling between the two of you. You guys. Um, you could be challenged because there is a distance, a large distance between um, you and this person. Otherwise, there's like a rift in the relationship. But there is great spirit, spiritual strength that enables you to get through any contemplation um, that you meet ahead of you. I will put clarifiers on this as well after I get all your cards out. Knight of Cups. So you could have um, offered somebody this, um, you know, offered somebody your heart and they could have, uh, you could feel like they have rejected you. You do have to learn to go with the flow a little bit. There's something that is trying to leave um, your energy so you, something new can come in for some of you. Um, some of you, you're just trying to get your finances in order. You're coming out of a financial difficulty. Um, so you're not really focusing necessarily on love as much as getting your life back into balance. You're also, though, however, going to find harmony in the midst of change. Things are changing for you, but it's going to bring you a sense of peace. This is, you are dealing with somebody who does um, have a lot of feelings for you, does care for you, um, love you in a way that, um, in a way that you haven't really been before, which could be why you aren't quite sure what to do with this. It's like, this is the end of isolation though. It's like your bond is going to um, get stronger because this is the end of like isolation or, uh, you know, that coldness that was going on between the two of you. Wow, 
Wow, crowning your energy is the Queen of Pentacles. So this person does have the potential to be your spouse or they already are your spouse. But um, you're going to see that in order to get what you desire, to get what you want, you have to first love and nurture yourself. Um, look at that. The King of Rods. So you're coming in very passionately, very uh, desire, desiring each other. Look at how you're looking at each other and with the lovers right next to it. Yeah, you're dealing with um, most definitely somebody who is coming back, who is going to be making this offer. Um, the King of Rods is, you know, they're, they're honest, they're conscientious and just and very spiritually aware. They're also in, in, you know, like, they're like the strong type. They're very much in control of their own life and making decisions. And they're looking at you like you are just the cat's meow. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, if you um, are interested in men, if you're interested in women, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. we got Gemini here as well. All right, so they could be reaching out, reaching, um, wanting to speak with you, wanting to meet up with you. Um, the, the universe is bringing this person back into your life, and it's like you hear from this person and all these feelings start flooding back, um, realizing that this is everything you want. There is, I mean, look at with the king and the queen, is the Ten of Cups. This is going to make you so emotionally um, fulfilled. You're having a lot of fear, however, around them breaking your heart. You could be scared that they're going to do to you what has been done to you in the past by other people. Um, you could be dealing with a lot of regrets or sadness um, that you're still not quite over yet. But there's a lot of fear here that this is almost too good to be true. Um, worried that this person's going to treat you like people have in the past. Wow. All right. In your potential outcome, you have the two of wands. You find yourself um, starting to make plans in your head, starting to think about this person in your future a lot, thinking if you're going to be able to work this out. You have put a lot of work in water signs in the time that you are separated from this person, but they're coming back very strong, very stable. And the king and queen of pentacles here, um, once again, is a uh, husband and wife for me. So this could be your potential future spouse. Um, you also could have two people coming in for you, a fire sign or an earth sign. Um, your bottom of the deck in shared energy is the temperance card. Clarified with the Empress and the Page of Swords. All right, let's get some clarifiers on here for you, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Let's do your shared energy first. What's this temperance all about? So there has been a break in this relationship. Um, this is somebody that you um, have tried to get a relationship off the ground with before, and it just didn't work. But your feelings for them never changed. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, but you're finally getting your, your um, emotions worked through, figured out. Um, finally starting to feel like you could uh, possibly love again. And doing the inner work. Having the patience with yourself to find that inner peace. To find that balance. And to um, heal those emotional wounds from the past. Why is the Empress here? The world. Okay, so with, um, you know, the, the Empress also represents, you know, the wife, the mother, the companion. Um, it's through warmth and and devotion and compassion that this um, person can create the family that they that they have uh, 
it's creating the family that has, how do I want to word that? They may have come from a childhood where um, their parents weren't really there. So the person you're dealing with, or this is you, water sign, um, is very, very persistent about having a strong connection within their children's life. That could have been um, what has been holding this person back from coming towards you or you towards them. Um, I do feel that there is a relationship ending with a husband and wife, whether that's yours or the person you're waiting on, because you're hearing of news that somebody is getting divorced. Somebody is communicating to you, water signs, that things are over. Um, you're hearing this in the time of Libra and your patience is paying off. The time you have spent working on yourself, it is truly manifesting this connection back into um, fruition. Let's see here. What's this lovers here for? What's the lovers here? Oops. I must have flipped earlier. The Empress. Wow. So you could have been this third person's third party or you had a third party and you are moving towards the third party and leaving behind a spouse. You're following your passion and it's the right thing to do is what um, the cards are saying. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here? You're just, you just know that by you uh, loving on yourself, it's going to bring in that perfect love for you. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? The moon. So you're intuitively being guided on where to go. It's going to bring you in a lot of beautiful changes. Wow, look at that. Most definitely it might bring in a Sagittarius. Whoa, water signs, that's amazing. Um, you're going to feel a shift in the energy in the full moon we have coming up in a couple days. And it's really going to shift your focus um, on the nurturing of yourself, um, putting behind all the heartache and healing from all the pain of the past, whether it be this person coming back or just anybody um, that has hurt you. You're really, truly putting it all behind you of water science. Why is this King of Rods here? In... Yeah, you're moving forward and you are creating and manifesting a new beginning with someone who's very passionate about you. You feel that this person is on your divine path for, and they are for a reason. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. You're about to experience... Um, that emotional fulfillment and be able to build a life together. You are getting communication or you are communicating with somebody that you are ready. You're ready to move this relationship forward um, and you don't want to hold back anymore. Um, you know it's not going to be an easy road ahead of you, but, but you also know that you can find everything that you're wanting with this King of Wands. Um, this is a past life soulmate that you're dealing with. You are, however, um, you know, you're fearing that they're going to hurt you. you they're, you're fearing that they're not telling you the truth, especially if they're the one coming forward telling you they're getting divorced. You're fearing that they're they're not telling you that, that they're really going to walk away from you um, and create this broken heart um, that you've had in the past. But release those fears because this is who you're meant to be with. This is your life partner coming in for you. What is the two of wands here? Yeah, you could be doubting this because you haven't heard from them yet. They're not communicating with you just yet about this. Um, so you're doubting whether or not they're going to read, they're going to join you on this path. But um, one of you is hearing the wake up call with judgment. Um, you're, you're hearing the wake up call in that full moon and you, you have been busy putting in the work and, um, to build that stronger foundation with your connection with Source. Um, this is the two of you coming back together, saying, let's work this out. Let's work on this. Let's make this work. Um, because they are just as attracted to you mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally as you are to them. Um, because you had the Queen of Wands, or Queen of Pentacles with the King of Wands, 
and now the King of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands. So this is a, a beautiful vibrational match, um, you and this person. Like I said, it's not going to be easy. You're going to have to overcome some um, obstacles. But know once you pick the path that you're meant to be on, um, once you get out of that crossroads of feeling stuck and heed the wake-up call of the judgment card moving forward, you are going to be able to come together with this person and create a beautiful family, um, whether it blended or, or the two of you creating a family. It's going to be um, beautiful for you water signs if you allow it. You can't let yourself block you from that blessing. Um, things are changing in a beautiful, beautiful way. This is all about harmony in the midst of change. So go with the flow because it's going to bring you right into victory, success, um, making a decision to move forward and bring and heal and work on yourself is going to bring you that beautiful success that you are hoping for. Um, it's going to allow you to put down the heaviness of this connection and really move forward, um, building a relationship together, water signs. So very positive for you guys today. Um, just know that any obstacle you come across, uh, you can defeat it. Um, because there is, I do feel if this person is married, their person is not going to let them go very easy. That's why they've been feeling so stuck. But just keep believing, just keep moving forward. Because you're meant to uh, create something big with this person. This is a heavenly protected relationship with that lover's card there as well. So um, just know that there's going to be people standing in your way. It could be a Leo, it could be a Taurus, um, is what I'm picking up very strongly, or a Cancer. But just have the faith and know that it's going to work out for you, water science. All right, guys, have a beautiful day. God bless.